from Stable Arena in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, Patriot League basketball here on ESPN as the Lehigh Mountain Hawks welcome in the Hawks of Maryland Eastern Shore. Pleasant good afternoon, everyone. Alongside Lehigh Hall of Famer Greg Falkenbach, I'm Matt Marcus. As Lehigh one and seven on the season takes on a two and five Hawks team from Maryland Eastern Shore. Lehigh, the last time out, lost by 10 at Yale on Wednesday, 82-72. Take a look at some of the highlights. Jacob Alamudun got the rebound. Looking to go coast to coast, a little flip to Evan Taylor, who finished it for Lehigh. Taylor takes it himself here, working inside as well. Lehigh needs to get the bigs working a little bit more over the last couple of games. They're starting to do that. You saw Dominic Perlin, Nick Lynch there to finish things off as well. Lehigh just one win on the season. It was on this floor. But, Greg, you take a look at the comparisons, pretty even across the board. Right. It's pretty uh, close on the points per game. And the turnovers per game has been Lehigh's Achilles heel so far this year. They started out with 22 against Rutgers when they they actually got the game to overtime and, and lost to Rutgers, a Big Ten team. But that's the one number that sticks out. Not much difference in three-point shooting. Uh, but Lehigh's got to take care of the basketball, and they're looking for some consistency amongst their their guards. Uh, you know, Ben Nosman, Knosman is a freshman, so you don't expect him to be perfect, but uh, he's learning. So... Uh, these two teams have met one time before. Lehigh was led by C.J. McCollum. They lead the all-time series 1-0. And, Greg, they're going through the starting lineups here at Stable Arena. One name that's not going to be heard, and that's Marcus Wilson for Lehigh. A uh, non-COVID illness, a little under the weather today. For a team trying to find themselves and get a little more consistency, not a recipe for success to not have that fifth-year senior. Boy, you can say that again, Matt. Lehigh is trying to put the pieces together in this pre-conference part of the schedule. And, you know, some guys are just going to have to step up. The freshman Ben Knosman and uh, Whitney Sidney are going to have to step up at the point. I was thinking coming to the game in preparation for it that Marcus Wilson would be a, a guy who might have to handle the ball a lot today. Uh, just to give Lehigh some balance and some experience because Maryland Eastern Shore is coming with experience. They've got three juniors and two seniors starting, and that makes a difference when you're playing freshmen and sophomores. Starters for the Hawks of Maryland Eastern Shore, Zion Stiles, Kevon Boyles, Deshaun Phillip, Nathaniel Pollard Jr., Dom London. They are in the road uniforms. The maroon top and bottom. Lehigh's going with Jamero Wilson, Evan Taylor, Reed Fenton, Ben Knosman, Dominic Perlin in the home whites. Lehigh will go from right to left. Our vantage point and yours watching. And Maryland Eastern Shore from left to right. Looks like it'll be Zion Stiles for the Hawks. Dom Perlin for the Mountain Hawks. And we are just about ready to get underway. We'll start off with Lehigh basketball. So Knosman's back in there at the point. They have been going with Marcus Wilson at the point a little bit more in recent weeks. Quick foul here. And that's going to be on Deshaun Phillip, his first. And the team's first, just 14 seconds into the contest. Evan Taylor, the trigger on the near side. Reed Fenton, starting more recently. He'd been starting with Knosman coming off the bench. Now has to still be out there without Marcus Wilson. Good feed down low, but taken away. Looking for Dominic Perlin. And the Hawks have the basketball for the first time. Trying to go coast to coast, drawing a foul was Nathaniel Pollard. And he'll go to the free throw line. Jamiro Wilson on defense, the foul. His first and the team's first. Nathaniel Pollard is 7 of 13 on the season, 538. And the percentage, that one's good. Cannot connect on the second one, it's going the other way. 
Little pressure in the backcourt. One-handed pass gets it across the line to Fenton. Maryland Eastern Shore in a man-to-man -man defense. Knosman again, the bounce pass inside, looking that time for Taylor. It's taken away. Lee is let to get it yet to get a shot off. There's a layup on the near sideline. Basket good from Kevon Boyles. Technically, that was the first shot for either team. And it's 3-0. There's a three ball to tie it from Taylor. No good. Styles brought it down. Pollard's going to get whistled for the travel. Pollard pretty aggressive. Hasn't given up the ball yet. First time down, he had what was effectively maybe two on five, and he took the ball to the rim and got fouled. Parolin kicks it out, the extra pass to Taylor, far side. It's short on the three. And he gets knocked out of bounds, last touch by Kevon Boyles, who'll stay with Lehigh. So far, it's been Taylor putting up the shots for Lehigh. 0 for 2, both from the same corner. Lehigh has turned the ball over twice. Not quite two minutes gone by here. Opening half. Jamero Wilson backing in on London. Puts it up, banks it in. Jamero averages 11.5 points per game. And without Marcus Wilson and his 10.8, somebody's going to have to step up. Well, all those... All the extra points will be under the name of Wilson, just all under Jamero. Basket no good from Styles, and Dominic Perlin brings it down for the Mountain Hawks. Nice dish down low. Perlin with the finish, and Lehigh's on top. Great, great pass by Reed Fenton there. Nice bounce pass to get Dom Perlin the ball in a place where he had a clear Clear lane to the basket. Styles again drives. Got that one to fall. Zion Styles, his first bucket. Zion Styles. Maryland Eastern Shore back up on top. Knosman's dish down low. Maryland can't finish. Got his own rebound. The kick out. Three ball from Fenton is good. Back and forth the last minute or so here at Stabler. Lehigh up by two. Both teams getting the rust off and starting to get in gear here offensively. Dom London inside. They close out by the defense. Boyles banks it in. Kevon Boyles has four. And we're tied. Three and a half minutes gone by. Reed Fenton again looks to take it and can't connect. Pollard came down with it. Not a very large team for Maryland Eastern Shore. I mean, just in terms of the number of players on the roster, there's a long two that doesn't fall for Styles. Kick out. Knosman downtown. No good. 20 gone by. Binghamton a little tough maybe to match up because they come at you with five players that are between 6'5 and 6'3. Pollard at 6'5 is one of their tallest players. There's London draining a three from the near side. It's five straight for Maryland Eastern Shore. They go up by three. And a foul on London as he knocked over Jamara Wilson. And it'll take us to a media timeout. Back and forth affair. The Hawks lead the Mount Hawks by three. You're watching today's contest on the Patriot League on ESPN. Get a New York style pizza from Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza.
FenFed Credit Union is the presenting partner of Patriot League Basketball Championships. TIAA, the official retirement planner partner of the Patriot League. And Geico is a proud supporter of the Patriot League. Under four media timeout, Matt Marcus, Greg Falkenbach, glad to have you with us here. As it will be Lehigh Ball after the foul on Dom London. 21 on the shot clock, Lehigh down by three. Jamara Wilson slams it home. Four points for Wilson. Lehigh within one. Pollard gives it away to Styles. Drives in. No good, but the tip there is by Kevon Boyles. He's got six already. A lot of it on the second chance variety. Evan Taylor, they're going to get him for a travel. A little too much there. Take a look. Good dish there for Wilson. The feed from Knosman. That's the guy that Lehigh does need to get the ball in his hands more, Jamero Wilson. He has the skills and can easily fill up the absence of Marcus Wilson in the scoring column. Chase Davis is in there. There's a three ball from Styles on the far side. Mayoa Akinsanya also checked in, number 13 for the Hawks. Here's Taylor rattling in the three on the far side. Good way to answer. Makes it a three-point game again. I think it's key for this team's confidence that they answer things like that. The aggressiveness of uh, Eastern Shore. Chase Davis hits the two. Makes it a five-point game. One-handed pass over there. Taylor thought about it. There's Jamero Wilson. Back to Knostman. Behind the back dribble. Into the paint. Banging around down low. A kick out. Reed Fenton. He hesitated. Thought about it. Close out there by Davis. Fenton in the paint. Spins. Puts it up. In and out. And Davis comes down with the rebound. Seven minutes gone by here. Opening half. Stabler Arena. Basket was no good from Deshaun Phillip. A Florida Perlin with a foul. Basket is good. He went for the slam. It popped back up and in. And he'll have an opportunity for a three-point play. Take a look at this. Great vision by Ben Knosman. He put the ball on the floor one time, had his eyes up immediately, and saw Dom Perlin behind the defense and led him perfectly. And Dom was trying to get on the highlight reel with that swooping dunk, but he got the points, more importantly, for Lehigh. Yeah, it probably goes down as a layup, if we're being honest. But either way, it ends up being a three-point play to make it a two-point game. The downside, Akinsaya, no good. Jake Bello is in there. There's a three ball for the Mountain Hawks. Bello in and on the scoreboard, and the Mountain Hawks take a one point lead. Jumper from Davis, in and out. Lehigh up by one, under 12 to play in the first half. Taylor, corner, no good. Maryland Eastern Shore wants to slow things down a little bit. 
That is not their main style, though. They want to speed you up. Tuka Nugent's in there. That was Akinsanya who missed. Here come the Mountain Hawks. Lead still one. A lot of passing around the perimeter. Taylor backing in on Davis. Kick out to Perlin. Pick and roll. Reed Fenton, five seconds. Back to Perlin, a three on the way. Off the back iron. Offensive rebound. And Lehigh's going to have another shot here. There's Taylor blocked. Akinsanya with the block. Evan Taylor, though, keeping the ball alive. He's been in the middle of the action. That was a He's good look for him inside, if not for the long reach of Akinsanya. Good defense here by Lehigh, 10 to shoot. Nugent in the paint on Betlow. Floats it up, no good. Harlan brings it down. His third rebound. Nosman calls out the play, looking for a screen. Throws it all the way to the corner, extra pass. Betlow for three, got it! And a timeout needed by Jason Crafton of Maryland Eastern Shore. Lehigh, their lead now four. We'll step aside. You're watching today's contest on the Patriot League on ESPN. The official credit unit for the Patriot League, PenFed's got great rates for those in uniform and those who are not. Apply today at PenFed.org to receive any advertised product. You must become a member of PenFed. Insured by NCUA, PenFed is the official credit union of the Patriot League. 10.07 remaining in the first half. And Lehigh's got a spark from Jake Betlow, a couple of triples from downtown. The junior guard from Mendham, New Jersey, giving Lehigh a big spark off the bench. He played at St. Benedict's for his high school basketball. Here's London, three on the way, off the mark. Nice box out by Jamero Wilson, allowing Reed Fenton to bring down the rebound. Here's Knosman, kicking the corner. Betlow thought about it again. JT Tan is in there, and he going to get him for a double dribble. Good call. You see that a lot, though. If you watch college basketball, players trying to get control of the pass in often take one dribble, and it is not called when they restart and go to the basket. Davis pull up from the elbow, no good. And it's caught and taken out of bounds by Davis. I'm sorry, that is London. Pollard Reed Fenton got tangled up, but sort of just a, a standoff as to who was going to get the ball. And Pollard out of bounds with it. Wilson lays it in. Wilson was six. We've mentioned Marcus Wilson not in uniform tonight. Also heard some rumblings that Nick Lynch may also be a little under the weather as well. And I'm wondering if the fact that JT Tan's the first one off the bench as a big might lead to believe that he will not be in. We'll have to see. I think that's a good observation, Matt. Probably the case. Lehigh has it. Betlow looking for Tan down low. Instead, gets it out to Kenosha between the rings. Jamero Wilson, three on the way, short. And bringing that down was... Cohen Thompson. The difference being Nick Lynch is dressed in uniform and Marcus Wilson is not. Driving and layup is good there from Pollard. He's got three. Lehigh's lead is four. Betlow. 
Here comes Fenton. He slams it home. We've seen a few of those, or at least attempts with authority. That one falls for Fenton. He's got five. Lead is six for the Mountain Hawks. Reed had two dunks in the Rutgers game in the initial contest of the year. Around a screen. Free ball near side was no good. Mike Mensa. Here come the Mountain Hawks. Wilson down low, no good, but it'll go to the free throw line. Jamero Wilson has the ability to slither through that lane. He's, he has that spin dribble, which can get between defenders and get to the rim effectively. Foul is on Nathaniel Pollard, and it'll take us to immediate timeout. Lehigh up by six. You're watching today's contest on the Patriot League on ESPN. <laughs> United pace so far. Take a look at this replay. Reed Fenton slamming it home before. Part of his five points. Lehigh on a 13 2 run the last six and a half. It'll be Jamero Wilson going to the free throw line. For the latest Patriot League news, follow the official league accounts on Twitter at Patriot League, at Patriot underscore game day, and at Patriot League TV. Wilson is 70% on the season. First one is no good. Mount Ox are up by six. 7.15 remaining. Opening half, and Wilson now has seven. And that's what the lead is. Harlan's back in there. Tyler Whitney Sydney in there as well. Three ball was short from Kevon Voiles. Fenton needs some help. In the hands of Betlow, 10 to shoot around the defense. Tries to find it in the peril, and it goes up and will draw a foul. Lehigh really spread their half-court offense there. A lot of room between the top of the key and the, and the three-point arc. And Jake Betla with a lot of room to maneuver there as he found a lane on the right side. Nice, nice feed to Dom Parolin. Parolin never really got a handle on it, but he was able to draw the foul. He's got six. Came in at 68% from the line. 15 of 22. He's two for two so far today. Don Parolin is Lehigh's leading rebounder at about seven and a half a game, but he's also the second in assists. That one falls. Very aware of where his teammates are and gets them the ball in position where they can score. Lehigh's up by nine. Boyles, offensive foul. Boyles picks up his second. That's the six on the Hawks so far this game. Maryland Easton Shore has a tendency. A number of the players seem to want to go one-on-one -on -one from the perimeter and get to the rim themselves without much ball movement. And Maryland slams that one home. But Lehigh's ball movement, on the other hand, very crisp and clear. And Don Parolin, the beneficiary of another nice feed. Evan Taylor picks up his first. Six to play, first half. Lehigh is up 11. 
There's a three ball rattled in by Deshaun Phillip. Makes it an eight point game. Betlow's got six, trying for more off the side. Defense, a rebound was Zion Stiles, and then a foul in the backcourt. Jamero Wilson will pick up his second. And when you're playing without Marcus Wilson, the last thing you want to do is have one of your guys you got to count on pick up a ticky tack foul in the backcourt. Exactly, Matt. That was a little lack of good basketball sense there and very surprised from the senior Jamero Wilson to pick that up a long way from the basket. He takes a seat. Reed Fenton is back in there. Going baseline was Nugent. Three on the way is good. Cohen Thompson. That's back to back threes for the Hawks. Makes it a five point game. And we got Harlan for a travel. The timeout is called by Brett Reed. Thirty-second timeout. Brett Reed just trying to settle the unit that's on the floor right now. Some players who probably haven't had a chance to play with each other very much because uh, he is into the bench at this point of the game and uh, just wants everybody on the same page. Lee has done a no nice job of get getting a lead here in the first half and Brett Reed would like to go in with that lead into the locker room. Lehigh led by 11, their largest lead at the 6.05 mark. A couple of three-pointers make it a five-point game. And Maryland Eastern Shore has the ball now to cut even further. Three from Deshaun Phillip and then Cohen Thompson the most recent times down. Styles pull-up jumper short. Tyler Whitney Sidney with the rebound. Wants to push. Here's Taylor. Near steal, dangerous pass there as Phillip was eyeing that one up. 14 to shoot for the Mountain Hawks. Knocked out of bounds, it'll stay with Lehigh with 11 on the shot clock. The only reason that pass got through, Matt, was because it was a bounce pass. Yeah. Otherwise, Maryland Eastern Shore was going the other way with an easy basket. Evan Taylor, the trigger on the far sideline. Parallel handoff back to Taylor around the perimeter he goes feet inside the Parallel up no good and the rebound down to Thompson. Here's London knifes his way through lefty layup is good. Dom London makes it a three point game. And a steal. Great hands there by Davis. Davis gets it back, puts it up, can't connect, got his own rebound, count it with a foul. Chase Davis with four, and when we return, he'll have a chance to tie it at the free throw line. Watch the play here, they got the steal. And eventually got it in for the hoop back in a bit on ESPN. Take the Patriot League with you wherever you go. Live games on ESPN Plus or through the ESPN app. For more details, visit watchespn.com. Visit patriotleague.com under the Media Center tab for more details. Chase Davis at the line for an and one. 
It's 10 straight. And a chance to tie it after being down 11 less than three minutes ago. And it falls. That's how quickly a lead can evaporate, so you really better cherish each possession. Kickball, it'll stay with Lehigh. And this plays right into a made free throw, plays right into Maryland Eastern Shore's tendency to want to speed you up, and they're going to press and make it difficult just to get it across the half court line. Kenosman double team. They throw it away. London drives, banks it in. Parolin was double teamed underneath the wrong hoop. I think maybe hit the underside of the backboard and it was taken away. And that's 13 straight. There's Parolin down low to tie it back up. And Lehigh did exactly what you need to do against the press. If you, if you get your eyes up the floor, you will find someone has to be open if they're putting that much pressure in the front court. And you need to make the press pay. Under three minutes. Good feed down low as Chase Davis hits his average already of seven. And the Hawks back up on top by two. Knosman's back in there. He's guarded by Tuka Nugent. Taylor on the far side. Fenton straight away for three. Got it. Second triple for Fenton. He's got eight. Lehigh back up by one. 2.20 to play in the first half. There's London. Kick out to Nugent. Pollard driving in. He slams it in the face of Dominic Perlin. Nathaniel Pollard now with five. Here's another three from Fenton. No good. Pollard the rebound. Three balls and slam dunks. That's the story of the first half so far. Here comes a three. It's good. Tuka Nugent. His first bucket. Four point lead. Knospin into the corner. Fenton for three. Got that one too. Fenton averaging 4.4 per game. He's up to 11. His third three pointer of the afternoon. And foul away from the ball. Offensive foul on Zion Stiles. We'll give Lehigh the ball with 63 seconds left in the first half. It's the seventh foul, but an offensive foul, no free throws. Cohen Thompson checks back in. Lehigh down one. Minute to play in the opening half. KT Tan's back in there. Comes this side, Keith Higgins in for the first time. Back to Knosman. Tan sets the screen. Knosman down low, kicks it back out. Higgins, a three on the way, short. Defensive rebound, 38 seconds left. And they're gonna get Higgins on a foul. Keith Higgins Jr. picks up his first foul. It's just the fourth. We'll toss it in on the side here and on the near sideline. 35.1 left. Eight second differential shot clock, the game clock. Maybe try for a two for one. Maybe not. 
Davis. Nugent, he's fouled by Higgins. And now with 20 on the shot clock, 21.9, you can effectively take the rest of the half with this possession if you wish. Well, Lehi had the ball with about a minute to go when they had offensive possession. I thought it was important that they get a shot up within about 20 seconds so you would have enough time on this next possession to get it back a second time. Davis down low, a lot of contact, no call. Lehi's going to come away with it. So they weren't holding for the last shot at all. Lehi might. 12 seconds, down by one. First half action here at Stabler, seven seconds. Long three by Fenton, it's good! <laughs> 14 points for him, the last three at the buzzer. And Lehigh goes into the locker room up by two with momentum on their side. That was from the scorer's table. As far as it can be. 41-39, we've got a halftime stat, so much more coming your way. You're watching today's contest on the Patriot League on Halftime here at Stabler Arena. An exciting first half. Had the Mountain Hawks leading by two at the break, 41-39. Dominic Perlin tried to slam it home there, got the and one. Reed Fenton was able to deliver on that one. Perlin got his dunk there too. A lot of dunks and three-pointers in the first half. Not to be outdone, Maryland Eastern Shore got in on the action. That was Nathaniel Pollard. At the end of the first half, down one, Reed Fenton with a three at the buzzer. Give the Mountain Hawks that two-point lead. They were down four. He hit a three with a minute 17 left, and he hit the one at the buzzer as well. Take a look at the side-by-side -side comparisons. Again, the two-point game. Very even in terms of the field goal percentage, 51.7 for Lehigh. 15 of 29, 50% dead even for Maryland Eastern Shore, 16 of 32. The three-pointers, though, there's your difference. Two more that were made for Lehigh. 43.8%, seven of the 16 got to fall, including those last two by Reed Fenton. Uh, for Maryland Eastern Shore, five of eight, a little bit more efficient. Turnovers, not too bad. Lehigh doubling up on Maryland Eastern Shore. The rebounding advantage to the Mountain Hawks. 18 to 13 in that one. Reed Fenton off the bench leads the way. Actually, as a starter, excuse me, 14 points. Dominic Perlin with 11 in that first half. Jamara Wilson with seven. Jake Betlow off the bench, hit a couple of threes. He's got six. Evan Taylor with three. That's for Lehigh. For Maryland Eastern Shore, a little more balanced across the board. Chase Davis and Dom London each with seven. Kevon Vaughn has six. Five points apiece for Zion Stiles and Nathaniel Pollard, and then three points each for Deshaun Phillip and Cohen Thompson. They hit threes as Lehigh was up 10. Lehigh was actually up 11. It was a 13-0 run, and the Mountain Hawks found themselves on the wrong end. We went back and forth a little bit. We're going to step aside here at halftime. When we come back, Greg Falkenbach and myself will give you half number two, Lehigh and Maryland Eastern Shore. There's a star. It's right in front of you. Who does she need? Fans, if you're in need to purchase that special gift for the holidays, visit PatriotLeagueStore.com to buy Patriot League Championship apparel and merchandise from your favorite Patriot League school. Visit PatriotLeagueStore.com. Matt Marcus, Greg Falkenbach, glad to have you with us here. Greg, we've seen Lehigh with leads to start the second half. They haven't always come away with wins, though. That's something that's going to have to change today. You're exactly right. That's been an issue for Lehigh to play, put together two solid halves, and it will be their challenge here today. They played a good 90% of the first half pretty well until the last four minutes when... They allowed Maryland Eastern Shore to, to go on that 13-0 run and didn't have an answer, but they did have an answer near the end as Reed Fenton heated up 
again, as you can see his confidence growing, and he knocked down a, three threes in that last minute and a half to at least get Lehigh back with a small lead. They lead by two. Maryland Eastern Shore will have the ball first to start the second half. That last shot that Reed Fenton made in the last few seconds of the half, he had a file for a flight pattern, I think. Well, that was Marcus Wilson territory in the, the opener last year. Now, that was the end of uh, what was overtime, overtime to win that game and end up on SportsCenter that night. You're right. It was from the same vicinity. A little different scenario, but... Gave Lehigh the win. Pollard going to get a travel there. The moment he stood up, you knew the whistle was going to come out. That was an easy one. He maintained his dribble going down. If he stays on his knee and gets it off, I don't think they call it. If you continue to dribble, I think he's fine. Lehigh's going to take over here. Starters are back out there for both teams. Lehigh led by 11 at one point in the first half. Jamara Wilson ran into a brick wall. Loose ball. And it was picked up by Zion Stiles. Maryland Eastern Shore had a six-point lead. That was the largest for them early in the first half, 15 and 9. There's a bucket in and out, no good. The attempt anyway by Voiles. And a foul called. On Don Parolin, I believe. And Parolin gets his first, and it's the first for Lehigh in the second half. Off the inbounds, London blocked by Kenosman and out of bounds. And we've talked about his reach as a 6'5 freshman point guard. He made up a lot of ground there. He was not even in the visual field of the shooter and came from the side. London along two on the way. Knosman couldn't get to that one, and neither could Lehigh. Nice no-look dish. The pass from Pollard to Voiles to tie it up. Pollard did a good job to get the offensive rebound, and then the pretty pass to his teammate in the middle of the lane for an easy one. It's like a pass we've seen from Knosman. He likes to know look. There's Demero Wilson. Nice use of the body to put that up and in. Lehigh back up by two. Zion Styles in the lane, couldn't finish. Knosman brings it down. Knosman with five rebounds. Basket is good with a foul again. Evan Taylor. Now has five. There's Ben Knosman with a great lead up to Evan Taylor. And he gets the finish and going to the line. Have a chance for the end one. Key thing there, Ben Knosman keeping his head up, seeing where his teammates are. Dom London picks up his second foul, first one for the team in the second half. Taylor no good. JT Tan diving for the ball, but it's going the other way. Lehigh's up by four. Here's London. And the Pollard in the paint got it to fall. Lehigh up two with the ball. Taylor with ease. Evan showing some of his inside game. He is a, a scorer, and he can sh definitely shoot it from the perimeter, but the last two have come close to the basket. So you got a block on that one, too, then a foul. Basket should be good for Deshaun Phillip. Phillip has five. Taylor picks up his second. Originally got the block. It was right back into the hands of Phillip who went up and in with a foul. Deshaun Phillip, the opportunity to make it a one-point game with the and one. He's got six. So 
So Evan Taylor doing a little bit of everything on that one play. Another long pass up floor. There's Tan backing on a Pollard. He had a nice pass. Knosman couldn't handle it. And it gets knocked out of bounds. They'll say last touch by Kevon Boyles. It'll stay with Lehigh. Good look there by JT Tan, though. Great awareness. And Ben Knosman just not able to quite get the handle on it. There's a foul before the inbounds. Deshaun Phillip picks up his second. Second on the Hawks. Off the inbounds. Jamara Wilson couldn't hold on to it. Up floor. Basket is no good, but another foul. Reed Fenton will take the charge. Or on the receiving end. You've mentioned how quick Maryland Eastern Shore wants to run. We saw it there. Boy, Kayvon there, Boyles at the line. There you saw the speed of Boyles. He was like a rocket up that right side of the floor to the basket. First free throw ties the game at 47. Boyles is one of only two players on this Maryland Eastern Shore roster that was there for the 2019-2020 season, which was the last time that they played. They did not play at all last year due to COVID. They're back up by one now. Tan on the baseline against the zone defense kickball. Off the foot of Zion Styles. Eastern Shore throwing a little zone at Lehigh. Changes the passing patterns. Kenosman again. Fenton. Pollard got a hand on it, started down court, did not find him. As London is fouled by Kenosman. First for Kenosman. It is the fourth Lehigh team foul already. We haven't had the under 16 yet. The Hawks up by one. London drives, no good. The tip is, Boyles is up to 11. He averages 5.9. He went for the steal there. Taylor left alone. Three point game. Jamara Wilson throws it to nobody. And it's a turnover. Sixteen fourteen left to play in the second half. Dominic Carolyn will check back in for JT Tan. Tan, of course, missed all of last season with a foot injury. And as he comes off, the coaching staff grabs him and teaches him one or two things in terms of assignments defensively or something that he needs to learn yet. He down low, blocked by Taylor on Pollard. Good patience by Dom Parolin. Looking for Parolin and right on through. It'll go out of bounds and we'll have ourselves a timeout. Back and forth affair here in the second half. Maryland Eastern Shore up by three. You're watching today's contest on the Patriot League on ESPN. Proud supporter of the Patriot League. Welcome back, Patriot League on ESPN. Matt Marcus, Greg Falkenbach. Glad to have you with us here on a Saturday afternoon in Bethlehem. Hope you've enjoyed so far a back and forth affair as Lehigh trails Maryland Eastern Shore 50 to 47. Lehigh led by two at the break. A second half so far, Greg, 11 to six in favor of Maryland Eastern Shore, albeit in just four minutes and 10 seconds of the second half. Lehigh has not taken care of the basketball here in the first four minutes. They've had more than a few turnovers that have given 
the extra possessions to Maryland Eastern Shore to make up any gap. London thought he dribbled twice, but maybe not. Either way, no good. Taylor down low, puts it up, no good, rolls off the rim. Here's London. Kick to the far side. Closed out by Perlin on the Thompson would be three. Step back, three or two, they're gonna say a three by Kevon Boyles. I Boyles think has he last, got his foot back. Boyles has the last seven points if that is a three. I'm sure they will check it, but it went in as a three right now. So it's a six point lead for Maryland Eastern Shore. And there's a steal by Pollard up floor. London with the numbers. Makes it more difficult on himself, draws a foul. It's gonna be Jamero Wilson, I believe, on the foul, his third. London's gonna go to the line. Take a look at this. He went away from the hoop, but by doing so, got the contact. Essentially, he ran into Jamero Wilson, who looked just as surprised as the call. London hits his first. As a team, they come in 67%. They're at 85.7 so far. And he hits them both. Jake Bentlow comes back in. He was an instant spark in the first half. He came in and hit two threes. Tuka Nugent, number one for Maryland Eastern Shore, is back in there as well. It's an eight-point Hawk lead over the Mountain Hawks. Passes to the corner. Knosman looking to slow things down a little bit, directing traffic. Here's Fenton looking into Perlin. Finds an open. Taylor, the reverse is nice. Four collapsed on Perlin and left Taylor open. That's why Dominic Perlin's the second leading assist guy on the team. Nice finish there by Taylor as well. Six point game. Pollard. There's Nugent. Five to shoot. Pollard traveled. Good defense by Lehigh to, to make Maryland Eastern Shore stuck with a situation where you have to kick it out and start over again with maybe six seconds to go as Nugent couldn't get a shot off in the lane when he drove. It's a 12-2 run for Maryland Eastern Shore. And there's a foul on Tuka Nugent, his first. It's the third for the Hawks in the second half. There's these new rules about cylinders and things. Taylor feeds Parolin, double teamed. Still has a height advantage, but lost it. And it's going the other way. Great hustle by Styles was there. Tuka Nugent as well. Take a look at this. It'll be hard to see along the sideline, but Evan Taylor kind of kicked the ball and pushed it out of bounds. And whatever is in Nick Lynch's gas tank, Brett Reed's going to elect to use it here with 13 and a half minutes to go in the game. And this will become a media timeout, if I'm not mistaken. First called timeout of the second half to be stretched to a full. Maryland Eastern Shore will have the ball. They're up six. You watch today's contest on the Patriot League on ESPN. To win, find a group like that. You've got one hell of a team. Stay connected with the Patriot League, its member schools, and student athletes through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube 
And Greg, there was a three-pointer at the 15.09 mark, or so we thought. The officials came over, they did make that a two. Uh, Kayvon Boyles now with 13 instead of 14. And we thought that might be the case. Obviously, they needed to wait for a salvage of play. So it's a five-point game, not a six-point game, 54-49. And Lehigh's going to throw a little zone at Maryland Eastern Shore. Styles, one-handed pass, extra pass to the corner. Nugent, that one is a three. Second one for Tuka Nugent. Makes it an eight-point game. This is the largest deficit for the Mountain Hawks today after leading by 11. They now trail by eight. You mentioned Nick Lynch is in there, and he was battling Zion Stiles down low. Stiles picks up his third foul. And Nick Lynch's big body presents a problem down down low for the 6-5 front line of Maryland Eastern Shore. Don't spin the trigger. Betlow off the inbounds, thought about it. He gets it back from Parolin. Ten to shoot for Lehigh. Fenton on the near side. Parolin at the free throw line, jumper in and out. And it's going the other way with Phillip. Yeah, not the uh, tallest of lineups as we've talked about before. But that's why they're putting two bodies down low on Parolin each time. So far been pretty effective. Yes, they have the speed to recover when they double team. Get a travel there and a little jab step. Pollard, from the very first time he caught the ball in the game, has had an idea when he catches it, he's going to look to break you down on the dribble and get to the rim every time. That time, it was a little too quick for the officials. Knospin nearly had it taken away. Out to Evan Taylor. Extra pass to the corner. Three ball from Betlow. He's got his third. The guys had games where they got good looks and didn't convert. Jake Bentlow has made those good looks pay off here today as Lehigh's, every time they have good ball movement and can get it to an open shooter, they've had more success today. They're going to get Knosman on a foul, reach in. And that will become an under 12 media timeout. We'll step aside. Back and forth with some threes. It's a five point game here in Bethlehem. You're watching today's contest on the Patriot League on ESPN. TV. The college football playoff semifinals, Friday on ESPN. TIAA is proud to be the official part of the Patriot League. TIAA helps those who are purpose-driven reach their definition of success. Investing, advice, banking, retirement. Learn more at TIAA.org. 11 and a half left to play here at Stabler Arena. Five-point game. Maryland Eastern Shore has the basketball. Austin in the backcourt. And now in the front court, it's Phillip. Ten to shoot. Devon Boyle's no good. Peril in the rebound. His fifth. You mentioned knocking down the threes. Eight of 18 of the Mountain Hawks. And they're going to get Cohen Thompson on a foul. Reed, Reed Fenton with his... Three-point sharpshooting in the first half has drawn a lot more attention here from Maryland Eastern Shore. Well, he's four of six. Jake Betlow, three of four. They have seven of the eight that have been knocked down for the Mountain Hawks. 
That low little flip to Fenton. Maybe puts it up if he doesn't lose his footing. Seven to shoot, here's Taylor. Spins, he'll go right with the left hand, no good. And Pollard brought it down. Awkward angle for him, 10.40 to play. Around the screen, Phillip. London, fade away in the paint, got it. Dom London, the second hawk in double figures. He's got 11 after Kevon Boyles with 13. Two for the Mountain Hawks with double digits, with two others sitting at nine, and it's going to go the other way now on a steal. Under 10 to play. Feet inside, Pollard behind the defense, lays it in. You go for a steal there, you best catch it. Well, Lehigh turned it over again without getting a shot up. And they've had about a half a dozen of those this half. Not a way to make a comeback. It's a nine point game. Almost the way to start a comeback with that one did not fall. And it's gonna stay with Lehigh. That's a tough call if you're a Maryland Eastern Shore fan. Because Dom Parallin's a lot bigger. Maryland with 11, but not, not exactly going to him to use the advantage. And whether it's him or not, not exactly taking advantage of the height advantage that they have. Right, you want to take a look at the matchups and see who you do have an obvious chance to make a, a basket if you can post someone up down low on a much shorter player. Merrill Wilson's back in there. Tyler Whitney Sydney as well. Three seconds to shoot and get a foul on the shot as Kevon Boyles picks up his third. Reed Fenton will go to the free throw line. Boyle's not happy with that call. We'll see here on the replay. Hard to tell. Fenton hits the first. Reed Fenton's arms going up to take the shot may have made the contact, but uh, Boyle's felt that he certainly didn't try to impede the shot. And that one rolls off the rim. It's an eight-point game. Maryland East is short with the lead and the ball. Under nine to play. Boyles, he leads the way with 13. Here's Pollard against Nick Lynch. Short. I think Nick Lynch got a piece of that. Near steal. Good job by Jake Betlow to corral it. Lehigh with the passing, the no look. Betlo open. He's got it. The no look pass from Tyler Whitney Sydney. Once, yeah, once Jake Betlo corralled it and threw the cross court pass, every player on Lehigh's team knew they had Maryland Eastern Shore at a disadvantage, and the ball really started to move. Nice layup there by Deshaun Phillip. Gives himself nine. Seven point game. We said in the first half, three pointers and dunks. Now working it inside a little bit. Merrill Wilson off the mark. Nick Lynch cleans up the glass. His first bucket. Limited action today. Talk about taking advantage of a mismatch. Jamero Wilson has a three or four inch advantage on his player and they got Lee I did get the ball down to him low Philip no good there the eye down five that low mm. 
Trying to find Wilson again inside, a kick out. Tyler Whitney Sydney drives in, drops it off to Lynch, who lost the handle. And it gets taken out of bounds. It'll stay with Lehigh. Pollard had it and lost it, and we will step aside. Got a good one here in Bethlehem, 63-58, Maryland Eastern Shore on top of Lehigh. You're watching today's contest on the Patriot League on ESPN. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Fans, take the Patriot League with you wherever you go. Live games on ESPN Plus or through the ESPN app. For more details, visit watchespn.com. Visit patriotleague.com under the Media Center tab for more details. So Lehigh will have it underneath their own basket. There's six on the shot clock. Down by five, big opportunity here to cut into that. Reed Fenton in the trigger. Get to the Parallel. Tyler Whitney City, three seconds. Betlow, and they didn't realize. And I'll tell you what, even Brett Reed on the sideline is confused that there are only six seconds on the shot clock. I don't know how that happens out of a break, though, out of a timeout. So Maryland Eastern Shore has it. Up by five. Thompson for three. It's going to be short and an air ball. And Lehigh's going to get it back with six and a half to play. Good defense by Lehigh to make Maryland short feel like they had a rush, rush the shot as the shot clock wound down. Harlan on the elbow, almost poked away. Tyler Whitney, Sydney the layup. Probably contact too, but no call. It makes it a three point game. Lehigh on an eight two run. And Maryland Eastern Shore scoreless for almost two minutes. No longer. There's a bucket by Deshaun Phillip. He's got 11. Under six to play. Parallel on the baseline. Cross court to Betlow. Quick trigger. Short. Stays with Lehigh. Jamero Wilson came up with it. And they're going to get a foul called. And that's going to set him to the line. Zion Stiles whistled for his fourth. I do believe Don Parolin kept, the, kept this rebound alive that Jamero Wilson could track it down in the corner. Yeah, Stiles, the reach, the swipe down. And they're making it a... A shooting foul, so he gets two. Although you see he missed that one. Now, with seven fouls, it would have been shooting either way, but one and one is different than two, especially since you just missed that first one. Right. He had, Jamerrill had gone into sort of the Euro step yep. to uh, get the ball up. That one falls. Kind of like the, the reverse continuation, right? Continuation, you know, you let him finish it. This one, well, he's about to shoot it, so we're going to count it. I think I just made up a new term. I think you could be cutting edge here, Matt. Four-point game. Boyle's no good. Evan Taylor brings it down. Lehigh within four. Lob down low, somehow stays in bounds, and it's going to go the other way. Great hands there by Pollard. Davis, Chase Davis for two. Five players with nine or more for Maryland Eastern Shore. A kick out, three ball, Taylor, got it! The great look from Jake Betlow there, too. And Jake Maryland Betlow East. taking an advantage of the fact that he's been hot from three-point range and 
He has defenders rushing at him. That time he took it, put it on the floor. Nice assist. It's a 30-second timeout. Not quite close enough to take it as a media, so we'll keep it right here. Look at that pass. And Taylor knew it all the way. We mentioned in the open, these teams have only met one time. And the guy a lot of people might have heard of, his name's on the wall, C.J. McCollum led the way back in 2012 for the victory. Different era, that was a great team. C.J. the other night becoming the fifth all-time leading scorer in Blazers history. Passing uh, Cliff Robinson, I believe. He was surrounded by some excellent players as well. Gabe Knutson I still get to talk to, and Holden Griner, another 1,000-point scorer on that team. Unfortunately, one of the great uh, what could have beens had it not been for the injury his senior year, kind of not necessarily derailing the season, but... Uh, unable to repeat his champions in the league and the numbers that CJ would have put up had he been able to play the rest of that season in league play and between Patriot League and as a travel there and school records would have fallen for sure. CJ is second on the score all-time scoring list still to Darren Queen and by but it's by more than 300 points and CJ was hurt in the middle of January, I believe, that year. He had a lot more games to play. Had a lot of games left. You're right. It would have been interesting to see if he had made that. I have a feeling he might have. <laughs> That's what I mean. Uh, the great what if. It was his senior year and wanted to go out with a bang. Three-point game. Feet inside, but taken away by Pollard. Really tough to make that pass from the key down to the low post when the Pollard was fronting Nick Lynch. Under four to play. Phillip slams it in. Deshaun Phillip with 13 ties Kevon Boyles for the team lead. Reed Fenton has 15 for Lehigh to lead all scores. It's a five point game. Lynch sets a screen. Couldn't get the pick and roll going. Feeds Evan Taylor. Blocked by Pollard, who rips it out of the air. You see the emotion from him. Had a steal previously, and then got that one as well. A 6'5 senior from Richmond, Virginia. Now we're Still. down to who's going to win the last four minutes of the game. It's a five-point game. Chase Davis through the paint. Blocked but fouled by Evan Taylor. And this will take us to our final media timeout. It's a good one here in Bethlehem. You don't want to miss it when we return right here on ESPN. Just over three minutes remaining here from Bethlehem, Lehigh, and Maryland Eastern Shore. It'll be free throws for Chase Davis coming out of the timeout. He had an and one, which was good, one for one. Nine points on the day. At the line for Maryland Eastern Shore, number two, Chase Davis. Rattles the first one in. He's got 10 points. The foul was on Evan Taylor, the seventh. Both teams with seven, so in the bonus. And two for two. Four players with double figures, one with nine. Lehigh has five players in double figures. They trail by seven. Three minutes left to play. 
Dosman's back in there. Reed Fenton gets the layup on the left side. He's got 17 now. Pretty bounce pass by Ben Kenosman, being aware that Reed Fenton's defender was looking at Reed and not where the ball was. Dom London out to Davis. Pollard sets the screen, 10 to shoot. Jumper good from Phillip. He leads the team with 15, averaging 9.4 a game. Zion Stiles has five points. Granted, he's foul trouble with four. He came in leading the team at 12.3 per game. Phillip was second, tied with Dom London. Betlo swings it back to Fenton. Big three on the way. Got it. And Brett Reed needs a timeout. Fenton with a 20-point game. Makes it a four-point game with exactly two minutes left. There's enough seconds. possessions here to make up a four-point deficit. And Brett Reed wants to make sure Lehigh's on the same defensive page coming out of this Betlow possession. swung it right over. Jake Betlow's been in the middle of an awful lot of this. And with the absence of Marcus Wilson, it could not come at a better time. Betlow, or make that, Fenton has five threes. It is by far a season high. He hit six against Army in February of 2020. And it's a four point game here in Bethlehem. Comes Davis driving the right side. And a blocking foul called on Perelin. Davis will go back to the free throw line. Take a look at this. Make the case that he might have been set. But Davis goes to the line where he is three for three. That one is no good. Minute 43 left to play. And it's a five point game. And now Maryland Eastern Shore calls the timeout. Maryland Eastern Shore timeout, a full timeout. It's stretched to a full, but we can also keep it right here. If you're Lehigh, Greg, what are you what are you drawing up? You're Dr. Brett Reed in the in the huddle there. The game plan with uh, 103 seconds left. There is plenty of time here. Lehigh has been most successful today when the ball has moved. They've moved side to side, got the defense moving one angle or another, and then that skip pass across court is. Got Lehigh, wide open shots. Jake Betlow, Reed Fenton, Evan Taylor have all made their share. And uh, Evan Taylor has gone more to the basket than he has shot threes as he came out and made just one of four, I, I believe, in the first half from the corner. But if Lehigh continues to move that ball side to side, they will find a wide open Dom Parolin or Nick Lynch inside. And you just need a couple of buckets. Lehigh can afford to get twos and keep this a one possession game. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't have, this is a possession to me where you take what they give you. If they give you a wide open three, you take it. If they're hovering around the three point line and you, you have a mismatch down low, you take that as well. Here's an interesting stat. Jake Fetlow coming into this game, every shot he took was a three. He, he took a dozen threes, made four of them, but that was, his track record coming into this game. 
Well, he's four of six from the floor, all from behind the arc today as well. What you don't want is an empty possession if you're Lehigh. Cross-court pass, maybe a dangerous one. And it's going to stay with Lehigh. They may take a look at this. They're going to look at the monitor. Official review here, and, and honestly, an important one. Because we lost, what, 15 seconds, 14 seconds. We'll see what we can see. Now Pollard, he knocked it away at first. Parolin perhaps may have trying to reach for that, knocked Pollard, it out. Pollard always says it's going Maryland Eastern Shore's <laughs> way from what I've seen so far. And that's going to be the natural thing to convince the official that that's what happened. See if we can look at it from this side if it's any easier. It's going to be hard to overturn that based on that. And, and that's going to be very diff difficult exactly. If they said it was Lehigh ball, I think it's going to stay Lehigh ball. It's hard to say definitively it went off Parolin. Most of the time, I think you lean towards the offensive player there because it's the defender that's trying to come in and swipe it away. He had the initial contact. And his other hand could have pushed it, but you can't tell from that angle. Question is, I don't know if they actually said which way. On no, the, the official did, right in front of Lehigh did, did bench he, pointed did he point? okay. Lehigh basketball. All right, so that, that's what we're going to be basing it off of. And then he was the one that says, okay, let's take Pollard, a look. Pollard was the one yeah. <laughs> asking for the review. We'll have to say, this is a big review here. He talked about the, you don't want an empty possession. That's, that's what you're trying to avoid, whether it's a two or a three doesn't really matter if you score if you're Lehigh. And they're going to say it is going to stay with Lehigh. It was hard to reverse that based on what we saw here. And watching one of the officials talk to the Maryland Eastern Shore bench, I got the sense he was basically saying there's not enough to overturn. Which is what we were implying anyway. 16 on the shot clock. But that is a free timeout for both teams. Very true. And so it is to a great advantage to a defender to say, I want a review of that. Man-to-man -man defense. Here's Betlow, a three on the way, no good. And Cohen Thompson brings it down. Good look, maybe a tad bit rushed. You're right, it was a good look, and they got it in the hands of somebody they wanted to take the shot, and it was Jake Betlow still beating himself up there in the corner as he's trying to play defense. Good defense there, it's gonna stay. I'm gonna get a push. Reed Fenton on the push. Great job by the Lehigh defense. And it was down to six seconds when the, when they Evan, called the foul. Evan Taylor got a hand on it. And I think Fenton just kind of lost his footing a little bit, ran into him. Dom London goes to the line. He's two for two. Dom London has sneakers today that I've noticed. He has slipped a handful of times. Yeah. And that time it looked like he was slipped as well trying to get that ball. Tough call. It happened right in front of the official probably going to get called each and every time on that one. You're right. When you're trying to make a comeback, you'd like every call to go your way. There's 55 seconds left. Lehigh opting not to extend the game just yet at the free throw line. It was a little bit more time. Obviously, if you're much less time, you're going to have to start fouling. But Lehigh did what they wanted to do. They Forced him into a difficult shot, blocked that shot, just couldn't get the rebound. Had him in a late shot clock situation, and uh, unfortunate, if you will, that they were bailed out by the by the foul call. And now Dom London's going to go to the free throw line, and he's a 62% free throw shooter, two for two today. But maybe he's somebody you'd prefer to have on there anyway, with the clock stopped. Well, even if he makes just one, Lehigh will still have a two-possession game. And 
if they get that three the next time, there will still be enough time on the clock to uh, not have to send Maryland Eastern short of the foul line. As a team, they came in 67.4%. For the day, though, 83.3 from the line, 10 of 12. Well, they're coming off a game that they played very well against number 17, UConn. Yes. And shot 47% from the field against UConn. London with the and one, or the one and one, excuse me, hits the first. Makes it a six-point game. This is that key free throw, though. Six and seven is very different. And no good. Lehigh has to push. 50 seconds left. Knosman drives in, kicks it to the far side. Fetlow to Perlin. Fenton, three on the way. No. Knosman, Fetlow. Got to get some, one of these off. Evan Taylor drives, puts up the left floater. Good with a foul. Different way to make a three than what you were expecting. Took a lot of time there. Driving in with a little left-handed floater. Cohen Thompson picks up his second. The end one opportunity now for Taylor. And he looked surprised, but he had his left hand around the back waist uh, area of Evan Taylor when he shot. And he hits it. Taylor with 15. Lehigh is only 7 of 11 from the charity stripe. So they've missed four. Maryland Eastern Shore has missed three. Lehigh will be forced to foul if they do not get a 10 second call here. And they try and foul anyway. And they're gonna send Dom London back to the line. Tyler Whitney Sidney picks up his second. It's the 10th foul. So shooting two the rest of the way. He was one of two a moment ago. Got that one to fall. Again, making it a two possession game. My contention is the more you send the same player to the free throw line, the more comfortable they become because they've been able to shoot that shot a number of times. Got them both. Cohen Thompson comes back in on the defensive side. It's a five-point game, 23.2. They can't take as much time as they did the previous possession. Right. Because you're going to obviously need the ball twice. And that's not going to help. A steal by Thompson. Finally get a foul called on Jake Betlow. And Chase Davis is going to go to the line. Reed Fenton was bumped as he was caught that ball we'll see how much it may have affected him yeah there's no doubt about that and red threat Wade pleading his case but we'll get no sympathy first one is good for Davis he's got 13 when you're worried about the guy on your rear you're not paying attention to the guy that really would be in front of you who came in and was able to swipe it away and two big free throws there Davis doubles his average from 7 to 14. Six-point game. Fetlow from way downtown. Got it! Three point Jake Not done yet as they're going to put Kevon Boyles on the line. He's one of two on the season. Evan Taylor. Look how far that one was. That was Reed Fenton-esque. From the first half. Taylor picks up his third. So Jake Bentlow gives Lehigh that little glimmer of hope. Actually, fourth on Taylor. Again, Boyles. Uh, pardon me, it's Deshaun Phillip. Either way, they're both 500 shooters. And that one rolls in. 
think that was your hope if you were Lehigh to maybe go 0 for 2, come down and launch it again. But there is still time. Nails them both. 7 of 14 on the season coming into today. 4 for 4, Greg. Yep. Six point game. I'm sorry, five point game. Got to get across. Taylor's going to come up. That's going to fall short. And it looks like it's going to be a five point victory for Maryland Eastern Shore. And they hit their free throws late. Lehigh made it interesting. Not much to be upset about if you're Lehigh, other than the final score. They shot well. They did turn the ball over quite a bit, but not much you can do in a game like that. 44% from downtown, 52%. Take a look at some of the highlights there. That was actually the one that was ruled a three and called a two. Pollard, Pollard very active for a 6-5 middle, middle center for a team. Very active. Zion Styles hit a bucket. Chase Davis ended up with 14 when it was all said and done. This was the relentless pattern of Maryland Eastern Shore looking to drive at any opportunity. And Lehigh's game really determined by that 13-0 run in the, the last three, four minutes of the first half when uh, Lehigh had a nice lead and Maryland Eastern Shore was able to turn it around and make the, make the game basically even at halftime. The last free throw made it a six point game, 81-75. 17 for Deshaun Phillip, you saw his last dunk, the last highlight in that one. He led the way, four players in double figures for Maryland Eastern Shore, five for the Mount Hawks. Reed Fenton, five triples in a 20 point game. I'm Matt Marcus here with Greg Falkenbach saying so long from Stable Arena where the final score, Maryland Eastern Shore 81, Lehigh 75. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.